In today's show, we have a story on the CLP remodeling. And a look into Fall Fun Day. Students enjoy. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Madison. I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. The Counselor's Cove has changed a lot since last year. Let's go look at some of the differences. This summer, the counselor offices were remodeled into a counseling center. Mr. Monahan was all for, we need to make this happen. Our offices have been the same since the school was built in 1970. And so, um, so they decided to do it. The idea of remodeling the center started two years ago. Mr. Wilson's CAD class interviewed the counselors and drew up a plan. The new center has improvements the counselors wanted. The things we like is we have a conference room, our own conference room, and we also have a room that all our file cabinets can go in so we don't have to have any file cabinets in our offices. So that makes them feel a little bit bigger. Also, they like the privacy. Now, truly, it's a lot quieter and it's a lot, you know, when you're in here, you know, there's not, I mean, I, I guess if you're screaming, someone could maybe hear you, but most of the time I think, it, I think um, there's going to be a lot more privacy. The construction isn't done yet. The counselors are still waiting on their furniture, which should be arriving soon. You know, we're very excited. Now, if you see my office now, it's not very pretty because we haven't got any of our furniture yet and the gray walls and stuff. It does seem kind of institutionalized, but I, we have some ideas for the wall out there. We've talked to our art department, and I think once we get our furniture in and get boxes and stuff put away, then I think it will be a lot more welcoming center. So we're really excited about having new offices. We will have a follow-up on the new furniture soon. Now on to the rest of announcements. This month, International Thespian Society is hosting Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat. Bring canned goods to your seminar. The seminar with the most cans will get an ice cream party. On October 23rd, the Haunted Trail will be open. Kids Trail is from 4 to 6 and the Adult Trail is open after. Prices will vary. The Thirst Project Water Relay Race is on Saturday. There will be many events and games starting at 4.30. Make sure and come out. ACT prep classes started soon. If you want to learn about test techniques and strategies, the registration and payment will be due next Friday. Last Friday, a few of our students went to Gary's Berries. Let's check it out. Students enjoyed Fall Fun Day by playing games in the gym. Junk in the trunk, where you had like a tissue box at the back of your on the back of your back and you had to like dance or throw it back to get them all out. And going to Gary's Berries afterward. Lucky, it's a little bit. Students enjoyed activities like the corn maze, basketball, and the corn pit. I chose to go to Fall Fun Day because I wanted to go in the corn maze and drink some apple cider. Fall Fun Day was created to give students a break and reward them for their high academic achievements. We think it's to reward our three and four star students for the hard work they do in the classroom and to acknowledge the academic effort they've put in. It's not broken yet. Students had fun at the Fall Fun Day. There were about 400 students invited to Fall Fun Day with about 150 students attending. The next sharp Fun day will be in the spring. That looked like fun. Now over to Ali with the sports. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on Saturday, October 12th from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there. chest for this chest is for trick-or-treat so kids can eat you can donate your food that is non-perishable 
The calc with the most donations by the end of the month gets an ice cream party. Sponsored by International Thespian Society. If you want to ride the Sphere bus to Junction City next Friday, the permission slip and $6 are due on Tuesday. Boys soccer is in action at Emporia tonight. Make sure and wish them luck. The theme for tonight's football game at T-West is Western. Come out and support your Vikes. Now over to Madison with the forecast. It's going to be in the 60s today. And it's going to be kind of cool tomorrow and cloudy and then warm up throughout the weekend. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we will have another segment of social media. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah.